11 people have been found dead and 27 still missing in Beijing's Mentugu district as heavy downpours battered the city and surrounding areas. The Chinese capital has been battling its heaviest period of rainfall since 2011. Emergency rescue operations are still ongoing. CGTN Sun Yu has more from Beijing. 11 people have been killed and others are missing in Beijing after days of torrential rain and flooding. We're at the new Shogang Bridge, which overlooks the Yongding River. You'll see after more than three days of raining, the water level is high. In Mentogo, one of the city's worst heat areas, floodwaters are receding. But the recovery work ahead looks daunting. Mr. Lee told us the water carried his car away from its parking spot. He saw what happened on social media and had been alerted by many who saw the dramatic scene. He's grateful that nothing else was claimed by the most severe weather event he'd seen in his life. This shop owner said the floodwaters reached waist high when his employees evacuated. No one has seen anything like this in at least 50 years, he said. And the only thing for them to do, we will keep cleaning, he told us. The strip of small shops still has no water or electricity. As of Tuesday, over 120,000 people had been evacuated and relocated in parts of the Chinese capital. This 63-year-old told us that he was terrified when he saw the floods outside of his window. He feels safe now at a primary school that's been transformed into a temporary shelter. Right now, parts of Beijing are still under the highest level of flood alerts as authorities continue to caution that there are still chances for floods, flash floods and other types of natural disasters. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.